Some of you may know what this is, some of you don't. What this is is a uh, metal tube bender. Just for a small little lines like brake lines and clutch lines. And uh, we are going to make, I had bought a um, 70 inches of this from AutoZone. It's got the little fittings on it already. This is actually, this fits on the, um, we're going to make line for the clutch master cylinder. Start it here and run it all through the top right here. And turn it down. And it will attach to the, come on this side, underneath. Right there is, uh, let's see, there's the, uh, clutch there's the slave cylinder right there there's the line and it goes it will attach to right there that's the fitting right there so you can uh, if you want to see how that's done that's what we're going to be tackling today all right now we're going to go ahead and start. I'm going to start at the clutch master cylinder. I don't know if it's, there's a better way to do it, but that sounds seems like a good place to start rather than starting on the other side. Um, there's our starting point right there. The One of the fittings will, will go into this. Uh, we'll screw into that. And it looks like we're going to have to come up. I don't even know. I don't know how the original line what goes, so... Um, I believe if I remember pictures correctly though it comes up like this and goes around this way behind the brake booster and runs along either this area or probably maybe down below it kind of where the brake lines are going but I think I mean that I don't know if maybe running it up along that rail will be fine it should be fine Except for when we get to the the heater bracket, heater line bracket there, uh, and valve. So I might have to come down and go through like the brake lines right through here. Maybe even go up the top, but that looks kind of that would probably look kind of cheesy. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should look at the uh, factory line before I say anything like that, though, because <laughs> that might actually be how it's how it's taken. I'm not really sure, um, but we'll probably just follow a similar line as like the brake brake lines here. Get down to the frame rail, curve it in, and we'll have to loop it back around to uh, screw into the uh, the soft line fitting. All right, so we saw on the master cylinder um, by the firewall, the bend that we're going to need is pretty much almost like a 180 degree bend going upwards. So um, basically you're just going to take this, it's got this round, rounded right here, give a few, and it's got this little arm right here that'll hold the brake line. And basically what you're going to do is just basically uh, bend it, bend it right around the, the uh, piece. And this stuff bends pretty easily too, so um, just like that. Not much to it, so here's our bend right here. I'm just going to hold it up there and then see what, see what it looks like. Okay, so I went to look at it and um, I got my bend and it looked pretty good, but um, one thing I'll have to do is I'll have to leave this fitting at the end here because now this fitting won't make that curve. As you can see, it stops right there. So I'm going to have to straighten this back out and uh, re-bend it. So basically, hopefully, I don't break anything here. 
There we go. Let's do it by hand. Oops. It's getting stuck right there. So. There it goes. All right, so we got the fitting. So let's try that again. Good, good thing this stuff is pretty forgiving, so. There it is. Okay, so we'll just go and hold this up to brake master and then we'll see where we need to make our next bend. Okay, here it is. Um, let me see. Yep. I'm trying to use this. Never mind. What I'm talking about. Okay. All right. Sorry. There's our line coming out. And it just goes straight out like that. So now we can kind of see where we need to bend it again. Uh, I got a picture of the factory line and it kind of looks like it bends and goes right behind the brake booster along this uh, uh, firewall lip on the back side. Alright, so I just left the um, brake line, or I left, excuse me, the clutch line screwed in. And um, I kind of just, with it screwed in, I have leverage, so I kind of just manhandled it and bent it, hand bent it uh, to go up along here. And I'm just going to keep keep bending it um, by hand until I need to use this the tube bender again I'm going to start from down here this is underneath the car um, right next to the transmission right here is um, the uh, clutch fork comes out there's a slave cylinder right here so the safe cylinder bleeder valve runs up to the line, clutch line, the soft line. We need a soft line so because the transmission and engine are gonna move a little bit so um, when you're driving. Um, it then has a bracket that connects to the car right here. You have your where this is the beginning of the hard line. There we go. Focus. Um, the fitting goes here. Come over here. You have a bend. We'll go back up through the engine bay. Um, I routed it between the fuel lines and the fuel rail. I was able to utilize this um, bracket right here. I believe this bracket is actually a SR5 bracket, but you can twist it around and and make it work for the GTS. So this is normally supposed to be positioned on the uh, passenger side. Um, just make sure when you use this clip, you gotta. I would put like some piece of plastic in between the line and this metal clip. I think it normally it has like a plastic um, covering, but it was worn off, so you don't really want metal on metal. Uh, but um, I just got some plastic right here and ran it through to protect it. Anyways, we'll go up. So, there's where we, uh, there are our line. It's this one right here. Comes up. I was able to use, utilize a, um, this um, clip right here, factory clip, come up behind the brake line and then go in front and route it through the heater between the um, heater valve and line 
and the firewall. So it goes through just like the brake lines do. The brake lines do the same thing. Um, but it's important that this is not touching anything or that it, will, it won't be touching anything when this valve activates. This thing. We don't need that light anymore. No. So. The only thing that moves is this arm right here. There's it's, it's open and it's closed. So we're safe there. Come up through, angle it a little bit. It kind of comes over and just rides close to the top all the way down to the other side. It's not 100% like factory, but um, it's close enough. I mean, I'm happy with it. Then you have a one bend right here. It's like a 45. Then it bends around right into the clutch, clutch master cylinder. Alright, so I finished the, uh, now that I got the clutch hard line in, um, I went ahead and reinstalled the uh, the uh, charcoal canister, which is the, the black canister you can see right there. Um, the mounts, very good, there's one, two mounts, there's a bracket right, that bracket right there, and it rings around, you tighten it with the uh, nut and bolt right there. The other, the other side actually goes to that um, one um, where I, uh, the bracket that I used for the uh, clutch line. So I had to share that. Uh, I just took the bolt out and put it back in with the, uh, with the charcoal canister bracket on, in place. So that's sharing that bracket, or that's sharing that bolt hole anyway, as I should say. Um, I got it all hooked up. The that line right there, the EGR. This is the return line, I believe. To the uh, it's yeah, it is uh, the return line. It uh, goes to the gas tank, runs all the way back, and also I got new fuel line right here. This third one. This is the return. This is the return line also for the uh, to the gas tank. It runs up all the way to the uh, fuel pressure regulator, and uh, so that's new line. I need to get some more line. Uh, I need to still figure out what to do with these. The three um, tubes that come off of the. Uh, it's for the EGR. I, I think you just cap those off, but I have to make double check before I do that. Um, and I connected these. Those are good. Be right. There we go. These three to this goes up to the. And these vacuum lines right here that are on the throttle body. So, got all that. Pretty happy with it. Also, did the um, brake booster line to the intake manifold that um, is a check valve right there. Connected there.